Hey y'all, about to start getting some cotton land ready to plant. I gotta get this field tilled up, get rid of these weeds. But first I'm gonna get this irrigation out of the way so I can come through here. I gotta go down the system and make sure all the tires are pumped up. So while it's walking and I'm out there on the tractor, it don't get in a bind and get all messed up and have something else to work on. While the versatile is warming up, I'm gonna come back here and check all the bearings on the hair. I got 16 on the front, 12 on the back. Gotta make sure all of them are uh, looking good. I grease these bearings every other day, but you gotta keep a constant check on them. Make sure nothing's uh, nothing's going on. With a disc hair, things can work loose. If anything gets loose on the hair, it just eats everything up. You can't have any loose parts. You gotta keep a check on all that. I'll check the wheel bearings also. We got a little bit of moisture out here where I was hairing at. And so when you have moisture, sometimes your hair gets stopped up like this. The way we unstop that, I do what's called ringing the bell. I'll come down here and crap out every one of these discs knocks the dirt off and then I'll get in here with the cloth and I have to get all that dirt out the reason you see me wearing these is when I hit these pans with this hammer is really loud and unfortunately I spent most of my life playing guitars really loud and being around a lot of loud farmer machinery without using hearing protection and now I can't hear well at all I, I ask people to repeat a lot of stuff when they talk to me and noises like this these loud noises actually physically hurt my ears and so when I come out here to do this I always wear ear, ear protection so Kids, protect your ears. All right, I got my GPS engaged. Hair is down. Looks like everything is working. So that means it's time Breakfast of champions. Smoked vein of sausages, soda crackers. It's not my favorite breakfast. My favorite breakfast is actually uh, smoked oysters in the can with uh, soda crackers. You can't beat smoked oysters, especially, especially if you got a little bit of crystal hot sauce, but smoked vein is close second.
this this here is a John Deere 637 rock which means it has these axles are mounted on these flex flex brackets instead of being a, a kind of a rigid pyramid bracket you got these flex brackets this is axle bounce a little better uh, supposed to be a thicker axle on these and others. this actual one was one of the earlier serial number models so they had not put the thicker axles on it that they did on the later models but we do have the much heavier duty mounting brackets my brother-in-law made the drag the drag didn't come on he, he fabricated all this drag system put it on there help us leave a little smoother surface on the front of this hair we have this big crank and what this does is it tilts the hair to the front puts more weight on the front disc or you can crank it all the way and it leans it back puts more weight on the back disc as I lean it forward I have a more aggressive cut it'll do, do away with the stuff but if the ground's too soft and you nose it over you're gonna push up a big mound of dirt back here so you got to find the right setting if you lean it back too much you may be pushing up a mound of dirt in the back and not cutting enough in the front you got to fine tune it figure out where the balance is you want it to the front as much as possible so that you're doing as much cutting as possible but not so much that you're stopping up and dragging stuff you gotta you gotta finesse it change it each field you may have to change it as conditions change across this field as you, as you get out of redder dirt into sandier dirt you might have to get back here and crank a few times i also have the depth setting right here you can see it's uh marked with letters of the alphabet i crank this handle to change the depth and it will move this piece which contacts a little finger that sticks out right there when this piece comes in and pushes that finger in it tells the hair to stop picking the wheels up there at the desired height that we want i run it right now we're running with the wheels all the way up off the ground uh sometimes depending on conditions they may have a little light pressure on maybe slightly touching the ground but one more setting that the hair has you know, we got the crank on the front for the tail. We got the depth set back there, but the final setting on the hair is actually the ground speed in the tractor. You can uh, hook the hair, disc hair, and take off and say, hey, this tractor can pull it. Let me bump up a little bit and go a little faster. Hey, it's still pulling. I'm not spinning tires. Let's bump up a little more. And uh, that's a big mistake. The, the speed that you travel is one of the settings. So if you're traveling too fast, maybe throwing all the dirt out leaving a valley in the middle and a ridge on the outside and so as you go across the field perpendicular to the way you pair the field will look like waves not good if you want to travel the correct speed for the particular setting that you have so that the field stays flat even if you traveled at a perpendicular angle to what you are cutting that's crucial. If you hook these fields up by traveling too fast with a hair or having an incorrect setting, it's very difficult to get it smoothed back down. It may take multiple crop cycles to get it back really flat. And so it's crucial to get your hair setting correctly and your speed and your tractor correct so that you leave the field as level and flat as possible. I picked up a nice 10 point last week, early county. Eight point here. You gotta keep your eyes open or you'll be buying a tire. Oh, that was like a different deer. y'all have heard it in another video of mine if, if you watch the other videos but uh we spend a lot of money on tractor tires every year because of deer antlers we run over a lot of deer antlers tractor tires are expensive and they blend in man them deer drop them things out here and they will blend in so you have to keep your eyes open or you will stick one in the tire it's i hate to even say it but i have not personally stuck one in a tractor tire I not ever stuck one in tractor. I know I know a lot of other people on the farm have. I have stuck them in my own truck tire before, but uh, 
with the tractor, you're up high, so you got the opportunity to look down. You can see them easier with the truck. You can't see them as easy. I, I, I have run over with my truck. But, man, deer antlers, major, major hazard out here, deer antlers. We pick these things up by the dozens every single year. There we go. That was right in line, too. Well, y'all, that's it for today. We got a lot done out here. Still got some more to do tomorrow. Gotta go eat some catfish tonight, though, for my sister's birthday. But we'll get back on this first thing tomorrow. Thank y'all for watching. See you next time.